to hear from jamalandkim.com. First, I want to say Happy New Year. Uh, my holiday season was great. Um, a lot of family time spent together, just taking it easy. But the holidays certainly does throw you off of your normal daily schedule. So I'm happy to get back to some normalcy and uh, making way in 2014. And it's already going into the second week. I've uh, been kind of quiet with the videos, but uh, now it's time to get back into the swing of things and continue to share value um, with our audience. Um, in this video, I want to talk about getting traffic to your website or to your blog. Um, you know, if you take the time to put your work out there, your heart, your voice out into the marketplace, you know, that's a great first step. But the ultimate thing when putting your information out there into, into the internet space or just in the world in general is getting people to see what you do or what you offer or a message that you want to share. Ultimately, if you put information out there and no one is seeing it, it's falling on deaf's ears. So in this video, I want to give five tips or five ways to get more traffic to your site or to your blog. Um, social media is the first one. That's the one most people uh, know about because it's free and everyone's on social media so why not take advantage of that so social media is definitely a great way to get more traffic to your website by sharing your videos such as the video I'm sharing here or your blog post or your website um, sharing that um, on social media the links to that will drive traffic to your site another way you can do is paid marketing you can pay for people to uh, find what it is that you have. You can do it through banner ads. You can actually pay on social media. You can do solo ads. Uh, the The possibility is endless in terms of paying for traffic. Um, a lot of people don't like to pay for traffic because if you have a low ad budget or low startup money, you know, you kind of want to definitely go more towards the free side until you can start generating some cash flow to reinvest into your paid marketing. But paid marketing is definitely a way that you can drive more traffic to your website. Another thing is if you are in business, you should be building an email list of past clients, potential clients. Um, and there's many ways that you can do that to, to generate a list. Um, but you want to email your your blog posts or your anything from your website to your email list because the people that have already done business with you are more apt to do business with you again people buy from who they know like and trust so you definitely want to email your uh, blog posts and stuff from your website to your email list and have them to keep coming back. That's why blogs are so um, powerful because you're always giving fresh, new, relevant content where people want to keep coming back because it's different information as opposed to a static website where the information really changes. Okay, so definitely emailing your list is definitely, definitely um, a great way to get traffic to your list. Another way is search engine optimization. Um, SEO is definitely a free way of doing it. It's, it's a science, it's a process of doing it. It requires keyword research and basically with keyword research it's basically researching keywords that people are looking for. So um, if you have a cleaners in your local town on organic cleaners and natural cleaners um, people would normally and you live in let's say uh, let's say a city. I live in New Jersey. I, my office is in North Plainfield. Um, natural Cleaners, North Plainfield, New Jersey. Someone would type that in a Google search. Those are certain keywords that you can write a blog post about. And um, and people, and there's certain things you have to do with the blog post. I'm not going to get into it in this video. Um, but if you SEO your blog post and people put that into the search engines, you're more than likely going to be found if you do it in a certain way and you get the search engines to find you. So SEO is definitely a great way to get traffic to your blog post, okay? And the fifth and final way to get people to your blog post um, is also to um, share it with as many people as you as you want. Share it with friends and family. Uh, you know, syndicate it on uh, the various, uh, you know, social media sites that are out there, you know, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, syndicating them um, around the internet. Um, that is a powerful way to get people to your blog or to your information. So I just wanted to share this brief video with you. Once again, Happy New Year. And remember, if you're putting content out, if you want your product services 
or anything to be found, you have to get traffic to your content. If you have a brick and mortar business, you have to get traffic into your business. You need eyeballs on what you sell. You need people utilizing your services that you offer. And that is most important because I don't care how good your product or service is. If no one is, no one knows about you, your business is a secret. And the most, the power, most powerful uh, tip I can give you is the best way to be successful is to not keep your business a secret, not to keep it a secret, but to get as many people through your doors, traffic to your website, eyeballs on what you sell. Okay. And for more powerful tips such as this, just opt into our mailing list where we share videos and tips and things that we utilize in our business to see success. Just go to workwithjamalandkim.com and just put your email in and we will you know, gladly share with you powerful information that we utilize in our businesses uh, to help to see success and to market them more effective and efficiently. Okay, so stay tuned for the next video.